Have silver stackers been misled or deceived? Are silver and gold claims exaggerated? Well, in this video, I'm going to try to reveal some of these things. It's my expose. Hi, and thank you for joining me here at Cash and Coins. I do hope you're doing well. As you know, there is a lot of BS out there on YouTube, Instagram, even Reddit. And these are just to name a few, and it's about gold and silver, right? And many other things, too. But my question is, have silver stackers been misled or deceived? And are silver and gold claims exaggerated? I do want to tackle some of the biggest questions and comments that I do get about silver and gold. So here we go. The first thing I want to cover is, who are you buying your silver and gold from? And are all of these companies giving you the best price? Some of you may know some of this and some of this might be new to some and old to others. There is a big company and it's the parent company of many companies. It's called Spectrum Group. Now I'm not saying anything bad about this company. I'm just explaining to you kind of how this buying and selling with gold and silver goes. Maybe it might uh, help you out when you're out there buying. One of the subsidiaries is Amark, and this is where it all starts. This one company owns many dealers. Amark, who owns JM Bullion, also owns Provident Metals, and they recently purchased BGASC, uh, to give you an example. But Amark also owns a minority interest in the United Kingdom-based company, Atkins Bullion and Coins Company. And in Canada, they also own um, interest in Calgary-based Silver Gold Bull Incorporated, SBG. And you know, they say competition is a good thing. And if you look at JM Bullion and Provident Metals, many times you'll see that they, they have things at the same price. But as I was saying, even these companies who have the same parent company do offer different prices from time to time. And as you navigate the web, you find your silver and gold. You can still find different prices, even though it's basically the same parent company. Now, as I mentioned earlier, JM Bullion and BGASC are owned by the same parent company. But they have two prices. And here's an example. This is for the Type 1 Britannia at the two sites. And you see the big differences in the prices? Now, here's another uh, thing that you might have not known about. And I think it's very interesting. You can buy the same coin from the same dealer, but it's available at different prices on different websites, you know, through different retailers. Let's take Atmex for an example. You can buy Atmex products at Amazon, Walmart, eBay. It's all the same company, Atmex, selling, selling through these different retailers. The same coin, but at different prices. And they have different shipping schemes also. I have to say that as of today, though, I didn't see anything for sale at the Amazon website for Atmex. So maybe they stopped selling there. But I'm just giving you an example on the different ways that these companies sell their coins, their bullion. Okay, now let's look at some other interesting points. And one of the most controversial questions I get about gold and silver is, is gold and silver an investment? And, everyone's heard this one, will gold and silver go to the moon? Now, I can't answer that one. I don't think it will. But if it does, that's great because I got plenty of it. Now, is it an investment? Absolutely. You buy it, therefore you are investing in it. There are many ways to, divine, to define an investment. You invest in schooling. You invest in learning about your job. You invest in buying durable items for your home. And you possibly invest in the stock market, bonds, or real estate. When you buy an investments, you hope that you can sell it for more than what you bought it for. Let's say you bought a car, the Honda Fit, let's say. Most will tell you that's a bad investment because it loses value. As you know, cars depreciate really fast. And it, it really depreciates as you drive it off the lot. But you can also buy collectible cars like the classic Corvettes or Mustangs or Ferraris. Now those can go up in price. 
all our cars, but some just don't have the best return on investment. Now back to silver and gold. Is it similar to any other investment? Absolutely not. Silver and gold are commodities. They're not a company like Apple or Walmart. Uh, They're not like real estate, which has a bunch of tax advantages and, and many other differences. You don't get dividends from silver and gold. Now, unless you do own stocks in a silver and gold company like Amark and the such. And though I'm not sponsored in this video, it's not what this video is about. Remember, always seek out financial advisor when you're considering any investment. But just as with cars, you can buy some silver and gold that appreciates greatly in price. Now, they're commonly known as collectibles or numismatics. But you also have the spot price of silver and gold. As you know, it goes up and down all the time. You can buy them on a dip and you can sell them on a peak and make some money. Silver and gold usually stay up with inflation, so they're usually a good hedge against inflation. But it's about timing and knowing that it's a long-term hold for the most part. And you can also play the silver and gold ratio, trading silver for gold or gold for silver, and grow your stack that way. But that's much better done on the stock market because As you know, with physical silver and gold, you have premiums to worry about. And if you're not not sure what that is, premiums is the price that you pay over spot. And it can range anywhere from 3% to over 50% on bullion. And remember that silver premiums are usually the highest of the two. Now on to the next big topic. Are YouTubers just a bunch of silver and gold pumpers? Yeah, I get that a lot. And maybe some are, but many of us are just out there to show you that when you want to buy silver and gold, you have options. And we give you a lot of our options that we think might be important to you. You can buy bullion. You can buy numismatics. You can buy jewelry. I don't really really recommend. You can buy statues, you know, gold and silver statues, you know, all sorts of things that are made out of silver and gold. Or you can buy stock in silver and gold. YouTubers, I feel, show you how you can store it, how to look for deals, know that you got to have an exit strategy. You know, we talk about premiums and how to understand all the ins and outs of silver and gold. But with that said, there are silver and gold pumpers out there. There are people who do want you to buy silver and gold. There are mining companies and bullion dealers that sponsor many channels. And that's okay. This is America, a free country. You know, I believe in capitalism and all that. It's all part of our system, and that's cool. Just realize where you're getting your information from. Yes, we even have channels that pour silver and sell silver and gold via auctions, and they do very well. Of course, you can always buy that stuff much cheaper at dealers or at local coin stores. But if you like the excitement of an auction, you have that available. You have many channels that that, that give you that. As you know, knowledge is power. And now you know, now you know that some companies own many of the dealers. You know that silver and gold are commodities. You know how to earn interest with silver and gold. You know, you got to have an exit strategy before you buy even your first ounce of silver or gold. You know that there are silver and gold pumpers out there. I really, really hope that all of this was of some help to you. And if it was, you know, let me know in the comments. Let me know if I missed anything or if I got anything wrong. As you know, I'm not perfect, but I try. (laughs) All right, now, and I do have many videos that cover these subjects, and I'll try to link them up here, and I'll try to put them in the description, and I'll even create a playlist if you want. Just let me know in the comments. And, you know, these will tell you the best way to stack silver, at least in my opinion, and gold. I do want to thank you for watching Cash and Coins, and as I always, always say, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next video.